Hello everybody. So in this video, we're going to analyze the characteristics of a common gate amplifier or a CG amplifier. Common gate means the gate is grounded, the input is applied at the source and the gate, between the source and the gate, and the output is measured between the drain and the gate. Okay. Again, as usual, uh, as similar to what we done, what we did in the case of a common source amplifier. We're going to measure the input impedance Ri, the output impedance Ro, and the open circuit voltage gain Ao. So first, let's uh, look look at input impedance. Right. So before analysis, I know I have to replace my MOSFET with one of the small second models. So in this case, since the source is actually not grounded, it would be easier if I use T model. So first, let's replace this MOSFET with its T model. So I'm going to, between the gate and the source, I have 1 over GM. The current going into the gate is 0. And I have a current source whose value, if the current I, current through this resistance is I in this direction, then the value of this current source is also I. And then I have RD. So this part here is the MOSFET. And this is RD. And then I have my VI here. Okay, so now this is again still the ground. So the input impedance is if I apply a voltage VI, how much current is going in, right? Let's say this is, since I'm already using I prime here, let's say I'm going to use IX and I have IX is equal to minus I, okay? So the voltage drop across one or GM resistance is VI minus zero, which is VI. So that means Ix will be equal to Vi divided by Vi divided by 1 over Gm, right? So this will be equal to Gm Vi. Now Ri will be equal to Vi divided by Ix, which will be equal to 1 over Gm, which is my input impedance Ri. Okay, so next let's look at the open circuit voltage gain. AO will be equal to VO divided by VI. And VO divided by VI here will be the open circuit because I'm not connecting any voltage, any load resistance, right? So since the output is open, it's still the open circuit voltage gain. So if you, remember, uh, if you look at the circuit, since the current here is zero, that means this current I will also be equal to minus I, uh, minus I x. Or oh, sorry, I uh, yeah, I is in this direction, so that will be equal to negative of this current, which is equal to minus I x. Okay. So let's see. All right. So anyway, other in I can either say I in this direction or I x in this direction because that's the current coming here. So that means Ix is going in this direction across Rd. So that means Vo will be equal to Ix Rd, right? And Ix is equal to Gm Vi, so this will be equal to Gm Vi Rd. That means my open circuit voltage gain Ao will be equal to Gm Rd, okay? So uh, the final thing is to calculate is Ro, output impedance, again. In order to calculate RO, let me demarcate this here. In order to calculate RO, what you need to do is I zero my input and measure the output impedance looking here. Okay. If I zero my input, the voltage drop across one over GM is zero. That means this current is zero. The current through one over GM is zero. That means this current is zero. If this is zero, this is open. And the only resistance looking in here is RD. So RO will be equal to RD. So let's summarize all the properties. My input impedance RI is equal to 1 over GM. My output impedance RO will be equal to RD. Open circuit voltage gain is equal to GM RD. Okay, so that's common gate amplifier.